Welcome back to the quarterback film room. We're just going to talk about Mitch Leitner. Okay, again, now I know I've been harping on Leitner as a prospect. I've pointed out the negatives that I see with him. I've also pointed out some of his positive traits like arm strength, um, athletic ability, size, etc. He has a pretty good release of the football. But we have to note that Mitch was not in a quarterback-friendly environment for four years at the University of Minnesota. He was not in a quarterback-friendly system. He had Matt Limegrover as his offensive coordinator for the vast majority of his college career. Uh, Jerry Kill fired Limegrover right before the 2015 Motor City Bowl, and he had his best game of the year by far in that game um, because Jerry Kill named interim offensive coordinator who was a former college quarterback. All right. In high school, he was a great thrower of the football in high school at Lakeville South, playing under Larry Thompson. So let's not write him off and say he has no chance. Now, um, because he played in a system that had no quarterback influence whatsoever other than Adam Weber, who was the quarterback's coach who tried to get through to him, who tried to help him. But the structure of the system was very bland and vanilla. Rich Gannon, who's working with Mitch Leitner, recently came out and said that even he thinks that he received poor coaching in college. All right? So that just needs to be noted about Mitch. I'm not all negative against him. I like some of his traits. I just feel that he has these areas that he has to develop, areas that weren't harped on and weren't developed at the University of Minnesota. So um, he's, you know, I think he has a bright future, but he's going to have to get into it, the right system and have the right opportunity.